You may be tired of these. But I have to admit, I'm not. This one is Lake City. And, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't find a lot of silver and stuff, but I like these. A lot of history. I got some mountains to climb. Matter of fact, you see that mountain over there? One of these days, I'm going to climb that mountain, mountain, mountain. See, how can you resist the absolute cuteness of that little shorter one? That is a blank. I have found piles of these next to trees before. I think they're pretty cool. When you roll it old school with the bullet. I'm almost to the top of that mountain. I got a pretty good ways to go, but I'll probably dig up another a few more bullets. I'm sorry. Casings. Spent shells bullet casings. I know what I call those bullets. It offends some. I don't know what's wrong with my GoPro. It's going a little hog wild up here. I'm almost to the top. I just came from down there. Those are all briars, but there's something metal right here. Then again, that might have been a rock, but I thought it was a rock. So where's my sound? Oh, it's still pretty deep. Let me dig a little bit. Okay, this is awesome. Check this out. That is a clip. Or is that a magazine? I see, I get the lingo wrong. And all you old dudes jump on my head about it. Put the bullets in there, pop it up in your gun. Clip, magazine, whatever. It's pretty stinking cool, isn't it? I found one for a 9mm before. I think a clip holds them like I found them before. Little strips of stripper clips. And the magazine actually inserts inside the weapon. Magazine. So that's cool, isn't it? I don't know what size round would go on that, but it's not important. Here it is, beat clean. Pretty cool. I like it. I have more sound in the same hole. And it's this. Stripper clip. It's what I have been taught. When I say old dudes, <laughs> Don't get offended, please. I'm not that young anymore either. So, that's pretty cool. And there's still more in the hole. This is actually a 76. Good signal. Thought I got out of the hole. Right here. Right here. Another one. Spent round rifle casing, bullet casing, bang. Cool. I'm looking for the oldest trees around because under those is where soldiers may have sat and had a little nappy poo. And I found this. True, it's just a piece of barbed wire. There's where it was nailed to the tree. Still pretty cool. I like it. Do you like it? Look. Never knew those were out here. I just ran across a variety pack here. Oh, where'd my pull tab go? There's a pull tab. There's a bottle. Not that old. Not old at all. Pretty neat though, huh? I remember in boot camp, we did not have doors on the stalls in our bathroom. I'm going to have to vote that this is worse. 
Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we gotta break out the light. Hang on a second. You got to really got to go. Hang on, let me straighten this thing out. I know that was loud. Look at that. Man. I mean, this hasn't been used in, you know, forever and ever and ever. But, and it crossed my mind for a second, drop a magnet in there, but I opted out of that for, after I thought about having to get my magnet back out. I got a little uh, off track, checking out the porta potties back there, sorry. Check this out, just dug a hole. Oh, I thought that was a spoon, I mean a fork. Not a fork. It is a, <laughs> I want to say clip, to hold something, but then somebody will say, It's not a clip, I don't know for them. You know, cough a little bit. It is part of a strap. It goes over top of something, and then you kind of snap it down on one side. There was a little bar that went from this side to this side, and then it had the other piece. These little hooks right there were latched into the other side, and you snap it down. Steadily making my way to the top, to the tallest pines. But I got a 90s tone right here. Oh, it's paper. You know what that is? It's MRE paper. This one is legible, so we'll never know. Tell you what's already come out of this hole is that there's a can, there's a nail, there's another nail on the side of it. Oh, you know what that is? Looks like it went on a wooden fence post and it rotted. That's what that is. And then you drove your nails in there. And it held it on. It's a funny shaped fence post, huh? When this uh, game is over, I will show you all the uh, blank bullets and the spent casings, spent bullets, casings I found. But look at that. That was finally a different signal. It was more in the 20s. Um, iron signal. I do not know what that is. Do you know what that is? Do you like my hat? I do not like your hat. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like green eggs and ham. All right, let's find another hole. I'm at the top. Go. I'm on top. It's pretty awesome up here. Isn't it neat? I got a signal that is different from a bullet signal. I'm trying not to spoil you with all the bullets. And it is another one of those clip cool still on top of the mountain haven't moved far due to the the number of bullets I am digging this is one of those things I dug a few minutes ago and that's about my fourth one. It holds rounds together somehow, is my guess. But I'm not sure. All right, here it is. Grand finale. Blank. I think that is, I think that one is like 30-06 style. I'm unsure about these older looking ones. They may be the same, just uh, ribbed a little different. That is a ant that I brought back with me. There look, they're cute little things. They're just so itty bitty. I don't know what these are. I'm unsure. The thing I thought was a fork, of 
course, is a strap. Goes on something that locks us down. And they got two, I believe these are M1, sorry about that noise, M1 Garand holders. But I don't know which ones went in there. And there's a variety pack, two different ones. So anyway, kind of the same old stuff. Actually, five of those. And then a bunch of spent brass and some unspent blanks.